guys, so I am not prepared to make this video at all. I am a total mess. I know I say that in the beginning of all my videos and you guys might think that I'm like fishing for compliments at this point, but I swear I think I look like a mess. I don't know what's going on with my hair and I don't have my glasses on. So for all I know, I could just have like 30 hairs sticking up, whatever. For all of you OCD folks, I'm really sorry. This video might be really annoying. So today I just want to turn on the camera and talk to you guys, tell you what's going on in my life. I am at this really strange point in my life. I woke up this morning with anxiety. I've been waking up a lot of mornings with anxiety. Uh, I've had on and off anxiety throughout my entire life, but it's gotten a lot worse lately. It's gotten worse since I turned 25. And I think it's because of this whole quarter life crisis. When you're 25, society kind of expects you to have your shit together, to know what you want to do, know where you want to live. And I'm at that point where like, I have no freaking clue. Like, like I don't even know what I want to have for breakfast tomorrow. I don't even know what kind of pizza toppings to order with my pizzas. And I almost feel like I don't have to know at this point. And I don't think I ever have to know because because life is a journey and I feel like that's a song. I woke up this morning and I said, holy shit, I'm 25 and this 25 years of my life has gone by so fast. It's like literally been in the blink of an eye. So what's gonna happen? Am I gonna blink my eyes and be 50? And then before you know it, I'm gonna be old and I'm gonna have a cane and then I'm gonna be playing Scrabble with my old friends at the old folks home and I don't think I'm ready for that yet. I'm not ready for wrinkles. I'm not ready for Botox. Getting old also means having to figure out what it is that you want to do. It means like getting married. Like all my friends are getting married. I'm here single. I don't even remember the last time I went on a date. What? So yeah, I'm kind of just having this crisis. So because I'm getting older and my mortality is becoming so clear to me at this moment in time that I'm just like, oh crap, well I need to do all the things that I've always wanted to do. I need to go ride camels and elephants and I need to go travel and wear cool hats while I climb mountains. I I am probably making the craziest decision of my life, but as you guys know, I booked a ticket about a week ago to go to London in April. And honestly, one of the reasons why I booked that ticket is because I want to go to London with the intention of scoping out some apartments because all of a sudden, I've just gone from wanting to move to New York City to realizing that maybe I don't want to spend $2,000 a month to live an hour away from where I already live and I'm gonna live in a box with Frank and I'm not gonna have money to do anything and I don't know how long I want to stay in London I know that I'm already setting up to go there in June and I will stay there for at least six months in June and then for the holidays I'll be in Czech Republic again but I'm also going to Czech Republic in April so I'm gonna be in Czech Republic a bunch of times and I'm pretty sure that once I move to London in June I'm probably gonna be going to Czech Republic quite often is this all over the place am I confusing you guys I feel like you're all just like, right. Because I've been saving money for so long and because I have this chump of change, I sometimes don't know what to do with it. Should I buy a house? That's occurred to me too. Like maybe I should do the responsible thing. Maybe I should just buy a house. But then what's gonna happen? I'm gonna buy a house and I'm gonna sit in my house and I'm gonna be like, okay, well now what? I wanted to live in New York City so bad. And I think I think one day I, I do wanna live in New York City. I think at one point I do want to end up back there because it is like my favorite place in the entire world. But I wanna make sure that I have enough money to enjoy living in New York City and not just live in New York City and worry about rent all the time because I feel like 99% of people living in New York City, they don't even really enjoy the city because all they're really worrying about is like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna pay my astronomically high rent this month? And you know, obviously London is a very expensive city too, but I have money to save up for that and I'm obviously not gonna be staying there like permanently. It'll just be for like in six months, maybe a year if I really end up falling in love with it. And during that six months to a year in London, I'll travel, I'll see things, I'll be, you know, close to everything else that's in Europe. And maybe after that, I'll go live in Czech Republic for six months. I don't know. I just want to travel. That's the point of this video. I'm traveling and that's that. So that's kind of just like my update video of what's going on. Uh, sorry if I've confused you guys, but this is like, this is happening. It is happening. This video officially is like the most confusing thing any of you have watched in a long time probably. So I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for being really supportive and just really understanding, especially with like my craziness because I know I'm not, you know, this like perfect, have my shit together type of YouTuber. I'm kind of just like a little crazy and all over the place. I think that you guys like that about me, maybe. So that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you support my decision and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.
Woof, woof.